When you tell me that you miss me, do you mean it? I was talking about the same thing, but I need to see it. Nike next for sense or spikes? Stay tuned. Now this is a lot more heated debate than my last video talking about Nike next percent and or cross country spikes. Now we are talking about track spikes and transitioning onto the track to talk about which shoe to wear. And it's definitely more of a heated debate when talking about which shoe to wear in this scenario just because both of them do very, very well in different events. And uh, a lot of people think this shoe can get you an upper hand on the track. So let's talk about that. First, I want to say, just like the last video, this is all my opinion, so therefore you can agree and or disagree with me. Let me know down in the comment section what you would pick and or if you agree or disagree with what I am saying, let me know why. So getting into this shoe on the track, I personally think this is a fantastic shoe for the track. Um, it's basically like you're running on a flat road race and this shoe is a animal on the road. This shoe can get you such an upper hand and I know last year I was at an Adidas school and I absolutely hated seeing people wear this shoe. I would get so frustrated because I couldn't wear the shoe. I wanted to wear it so bad but unfortunately I had to stick with my Adidas Avanti spikes and could not wear this shoe. Um, if you guys do not know I am like a 5k, 10k type of guy on the track so this shoe is all I wanted to wear. So with that being said, what events should you wear this shoe for? 5K and 10K for sure. I think this shoe can give you such an upper hand in those. Um, for high schoolers, I think the 3200, I think you could wear this shoe in. I personally wouldn't wear it for the 1600 as I feel that's a little bit uh, faster. You're gonna need a little bit more turnover for that. And I think a spike is definitely better for you in that scenario. Um, I can ev even see you wearing a spike in the 3200, but I think this is pretty solid for a 3200 as well. I would personally wear the next percents in the 3200 over a spike. That's my personal opinion. I've seen a lot of people wear this in the 3K in college and do very well. With that being said, the 3K in college is kind of on the border of should I wear it, should I wear a spike, should I wear the next percent, and I think you could go either way. I personally don't know what I would do. I think I may wear this and then may wear the spike the next race and see which one I like more, um, but I can definitely see people wearing this in the 3K. I've seen a lot of Nike schools wear this in the 3K, and I've seen also a lot of Nike schools wear the spike in the 3K. So like I said, right on the border, you could probably do either one, but definitely in the 5K and 10K, I see a lot more people wearing this shoe. Um, so now talking about a spike, what should you wear a spike for? Obviously, mile, 1600, 800, 400, all that good stuff. I would definitely switch into a spike as it is lighter. Um, I'm not sure what this comes in at, but these are around 6.6 .6 ounces, and I can almost guarantee you this is lighter than this shoe here. Um, this is definitely still light, and I think at your longer distances, 5K, 10K, maybe even 3K, I think the cushioning on this and the carbon fiber plate outweighs um, the actual weight of the shoe. I think um, once you're getting down to your uh, smaller distances, your 400s, 800s, miles, I think you're definitely going to need a lighter shoe, get the turnover rolling, because you are going to be running some pretty fast splits. So I think in those case scenarios, definitely switch over to a track spike. That is my personal opinion on if you should wear the Nike Next Percents and or spikes. I am going to a Nike school next year and you will definitely see me busting out these bad boys for some track races. Like I said though, this is all my personal opinion. You can agree and or disagree. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch this video and I will see you guys in the next one.